Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Fifi with Keeping Up with Fifi. Y'all, I've been trying to do a video. I've been trying to do a day in the life vlog. I've been trying. I've been trying. I'll start the vlog. I was going to do one on the weekend. I'll start the vlog, then I'll stop. Won't start it back up the next day. Y'all, life is lifing, right? Life is lifing. Uh, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. So I thought I would just jump on real quick. Just left the office. Um, liking what I do now. Um, thank God for a great education. But I just wanted to jump on and give you a life update. A quick car chit chat. After work car chit chat. Once again, I am Felicia. I am Fifi. Most people call me Fee. Most people say bye, Felicia. Um, but I am Fifi. This channel is all about who? It's all about me. It's all about life after divorce. After being married for 13 years, I started this channel, New Beginnings. Um, so, what have I been doing? Um, been working, running my business. My business is doing well. Work is good. Um just living life y'all just enjoying life make sure you follow me on instagram at mba underscore 2016 that's where i drop most of my you know most of my happenings um and then also follow my business page innovative underscore business underscore consulting and um get some business uh Sign up for a consultation. My consultation is $100. Like I uh, told you guys before, I am educated. I have an MBA. So I know about business consulting, business coaching, um, branding, marketing, how to help you gain profit, gain how to position yourself in a competitive market. Um, I know how to do all of that. But I just want to jump on real quick and just say, hey, y'all. Um, I just came out of the mall. If you live in Atlanta... <laughs> You know about cami cakes. Girl, I turned my cami cakes upside down. But if you live in Atlanta, you know about cami cakes. I don't have to tell y'all about cami cakes. These are the best cupcakes in Atlanta. Bar none, hands down, cami cakes. So sometime after work, I pass the mall and I just stop in and, you know, sometimes I just treat myself because I can do that. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta be good to yourself. Cause I can do that. Okay. I can do that. I can treat myself. I can love on me. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I stopped by the mall, got some cupcakes and then I stopped and picked up, you know, some odds and ends, but, um, just wanted to jump on and give you a quick life update. Like I said, life is lifing. Um, I'm dating. I'm still dating the same person. It's six months now. Uh, we're loving each other. Just a good guy, you know, y'all. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, it's it's hard to let go, but it's like when you do let go and close a chapter in your life, and another one open up, and you be like, "Damn, what was I waiting for? I should have did this long time ago." Did nobody tell me it was gonna be better and so good? If somebody would have told me that three years ago I would be where I am, um. I would have been like, no, no, it's not going to get better. No. Y'all, I got y'all propped up. I'm sorry. I would have been like, no, because I was slinging snot. But therapy helped me process all of that. And uh, I'm good now. You know, like I said, I'm dating a good man. He's good to me. Um, we are good friends. We uh, kind of balance each other out. You know, we don't put up with each other. He don't let me, he don't put up with my mess. He checked me and I, I need that type of man. I need a man in my life that's going to say, hey, look, you you doing too much. You need to tighten up because, you know, this ain't, this ain't going to work. I, I don't want a man I can push over. I don't know about y'all. I want a man, I want an alpha male. I want a man in my life that's going to say, hey, Felicia, no. I need a man that can tell me no sometimes because I'm going to put it on you. I'm going to be like, I want this, I want to do that. I need a man that's be say no. So, you know, he he he's good to me. He spoils me. Don't get me wrong. He's good to me. And he spoils me. 
but he, he don't have no problem telling me no you best believe that <laughs> but uh yeah so i'm just enjoying life like i said life is lifing um and you know that's it divorce is final it's, it, it was final back in october i'm done with that things worked out I'm, I'm happy i'm pleased with that um and life goes on you know i'm in another chapter and like i said you know who would have thought you know three years ago that i would be in the place that i'm in now but like i said therapy 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 so therapy has really helped me get through this whole process let me wipe y'all off because y'all dirty y'all face dirty therapy has really helped me get through this whole process and i'm just you know i'm just in a good place i'm happy i'm content i'm healthy i'm wealthy um and i'm doing great things and it's only up from here um just been going out you know i live in atlanta so there's always things to do although you know the c word i ain't gonna even say it because i ain't gonna even claim it but you, most of you guys know that my daughter is an epidemiologist so when you know things get heightened around the c word word i have to tighten down because you know i have to listen to my scientists that i raised i raised a black female scientist y'all i cannot say that enough as a single parent as a mother a, a full-time student full-time job a mother i raised a scientist and i i'm just you know i'm proud of that and can't nobody tell me nothing different i'm proud of that i'm gonna keep on saying that i raised a black scientist so when the scientists tell me my you know it's we're at a height and we're in a cold this cold that i sit my butt down i stay in the house okay so um but yeah i just been hanging out with my girls hanging out with my man doing things with him spending time with him because we're early in the relationship and just taking it one day at a time you know just just not rushing anything just not being anxious about anything you know getting to know people that's my problem i need to get to know people and they need to get to know me you know i'm older now so i'm more wiser you know i've been through a couple of you know a few marriages so i know what i want know what i know what i'll put up with know what i want put up with but life is good y'all life is good so i just wanted to jump on real quick and just do a car chat with y'all because i hadn't talked to y'all like i said i have been trying to um I have been trying to do videos i picked up the camera i filmed that morning and i'm probably just gonna put it all together in another video and show you all i think i did some shopping that day um i did pick up some things from the nordstrom sale that's always a big sale here in atlanta i did that mm, but um that's it end of the year getting ready to go on a vacation so me and my daughter is excited about that. She turns 30 years this year, y'all. I got a 30-year-old. Can you believe it? I have a 30-year-old. I look at my baby and I'm just like astonished. I'm just like, wow, I can't believe that's my baby and she's 30. And once again, y'all, I raised a black female scientist. I'm just going to keep saying it because I am so proud of that. I'm just so proud. That's one of my biggest accomplishments. You would think me going to school, but my my child is my biggest accomplishment that's my greatest achievement ever my baby so um i'm excited about that let's see what else life update can i give you all um just nothing just just dating and you know um romanticizing my life because that is very important uh, i did a monday thought on that on my instagram page uh, and just, you know, not entertaining foolishness, you know, everything and everybody doesn't deserve your attention. You can ignore some people and I've learned to do that. I'm, I've learned to do that. You know, I'm more emotionally intelligent now. So I learned how to ignore people. I learned how to, um, how to just, you know, embrace the moment, not get caught up in the moment, um, not, um, get my feelings you know sometimes you got to be strategic and not let your feelings take over so I, i've gotten really good with that so yeah so life is good life is good y'all life is really good um i'm gonna um try to um uh, try to be more consistent on this youtube thing y'all because i i be i be on i be off you know and 
it's just not good to be on and off i need to be consistent so my channel can can grow uh, you all know we have another channel uh the sammy nicole and fifi show we're always dropping videos over there we actually go live on some some fridays and some saturdays we go live over there but um yeah y'all so just keep um keep watching i'm gonna be more consistent over here on this channel just wanted to jump on and do a quick car chat with you all maybe i'll finish up my blog so you all can um actually see what's going on where i'll be going around the city found some you know me and my girls we find some really cute little spots to go out and eat um to go listen to music of course, um, I'm active in my National Black NBA chapter here in Atlanta. So they have a lot of events. I did a went to appreciation member appreciation event Sunday at Top Golf. I had a ball. Met some really outstanding women. You know, black women, we got it going on. Let me just take a moment and salute my black women because we got it going on. When I tell you, I meet some dynamic sisters some powerful sisters that got it going on we black women we got it going on baby you hear me don't underestimate us because we do we doing it we doing it in on every levels in every area we we doing it so i you know i love going to my nba events because i meet some awesome some awesome people some awesome i'm just gonna say some awesome educated black people you hear me they may be a little bougie because you know how y'all get when y'all get y'all education. Y'all get a little bush. But they some down, they some all around good people. So I really enjoy that. If you're in Atlanta and you want to, I mean, you can come to the events. You don't have to have your MBA. They just have great events. They have good food, good drinks, good networking. You know, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to network, it's a good way to network. Get yourself out there. So um, I've been doing a lot of events. We're getting ready to have our conference here in Atlanta. In September, if you're in the city, check it out. Like I said, it's, it's just a good networking tool to be around. No, to be in the room. Sometimes you got to be in the room to get to the table. And um, sometimes it's, it's some really dynamic people that are at our events. You know, like one time the CEO of Goodwill was there. And I'll never forget him because he was just so humble. And he did just a great presentation. You know, so we have CEOs come to our um our events you know our conferences and things like that so it's just a wealth of knowledge and resources and a great place to network when you attend um the national black nba uh any of their functions here so i try to go to them as much as possible but yeah i've been doing that um and and y'all yeah, that's it you know i'm just just relaxing you know i'm, I'm not a spring chicken so i have to get my rest on it I have to get my rest. So, um, so that's about it. I just wanted to jump on real quick and say, hey, 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 y'all, hey, 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 hey. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a day in a life. I'm trying to pick that camera up, y'all. I'm so lazy. You know, when you, when you got a life and you got a man, I got a man now, y'all. <laughs> you know, you trying to, trying to spend time with your man, and you, you know, you just trying to do things. But uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna get ready to go home. I'm still sitting in the uh, parking lot at the mall. I just wanted to jump on real quick and give y'all a car chat. But once again, this is Fifi with Keeping Up with Fifi. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to keep up with me, you know I have a whole lot of I have stalkers, y'all. I have people that want to keep up with me, see what I'm doing. You know, but I will never post my man until we are married. Y'all will not see my man posted unless it's private and it be for my friends on my Facebook page or something like that. And unless you stalk in my page and you just happen to see. But I had some stalkers, so I had to make everything private. So if you want to follow me on any of my social media, just send me a request and I'll check you out and, you know, we'll go from there. But that's why my social media is private, y'all, because people are crazy people are just too invested you know but um like i said i would oh did i just pop the lip okay let me go i'll talk to you all later this is fifi with keeping up with fifi